Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today I found this interesting problem in the MathWorks MATLAB Central site, Fine Exchange 6002. And if we just scroll down a little bit, uh, there's the original image. And what we'd like to do is how many teeth are there in the gear? Uh, so it's a grayscale, well actually it's color, but we have to cover it, but really is grayscale. And we notice down here there's a few flecks of white. So let's just go back. So as usual, we close all the figures, we clear the screen, we clear the workspace, etc. You know this by now. So we read in the image, we convert it to grayscale, and we display it. And then here we're converting it to black and white using 120. And why did I take 120? I looked up the uh, histogram and I reckoned 120 was as good a value as any. Now you could use IM2BW and you'd probably get the same answer, but just to do it slightly different this time. There's the original image. There's the histogram of the original image. And I took 120, somewhere around there. And there's the black and white image that I got. So we can see here, we got a number of white spots down here, little white spot there, and we can see here there's, there's a little, a few uh, black spots there. So you'd know at this stage, hopefully, how to get rid of the white spots. You know an erosion by a dilation uh, would would do, and you'd get rid of these lads. And then after you'd ask, you'd know you'd use something like IM fill to get rid of these holes here. So we're going to use a first cousin of an erosion followed by deletion, which you know is an opening, and we're going to use um, BW area open. So I have here just to remind you just a little bit of what I just said, an uh, erosion followed by a deletion that will give that. So we're not going to do that. We're going to use BW area open. And what that's going to do is, it's using the opening idea, we're going to get rid of pixels which have an area of 20 pixels or less. So we run the command there, gear BW, and we're going to show gear BW, and you can just scroll down here a little bit. And you can see here that they're gone, and we've got a few, now we're just left with a few black spots, and you know at this stage <coughs> that we do that with IM fill. So there's the command I am fill and there we're going to display it on this line. And there it is filled. Okay. Now these are not it looks black, but the reason they're black is that there's a gap in the white spot there, so that's not a hole, just in case. Scroll down a little bit. Now we're going to get the convex hull of this in a second and I can describe if I just go down a little bit and then I go back up to the command. So that is the convex hull. So you can imagine this, the yellow line has to be a rubber band. You fit it around the, the gear cogs and you get a set of points in space that would match where the uh, the rubber band is. So how did I do that? So I got the region I um Sorry, just yeah, and there, I, just one thing. Did I miss a line? No, didn't. So, I got the region props of the black and white, and I got all the region props. Uh, but to be honest, the only one I'm going to use is convex hull, and that'll give me x, y. So that'll give me uh, two rows, or sorry, two columns. Okay, the first column is the x coordinates, and the second column here is the y coordinates and I've asked it to draw a line uh, that's a uh, yellow color and a width of 2 and you've seen that there so it would display it around the uh, foreground which is white now yeah you can sort of guess if we were able to shrink that um, yellow band in a little bit we'd be able to isolate the teeth now you mightn't be too sure how to do it but i think you're going in the right direction if you can see that so we want to be able to shrink that so how are we going to shrink it so what we're going to do is we're going to create the area formed by the yellow area to be a mask and this is the line here 
Now remember the XY is just a set of points and we want to create those set of points to a solid area. How do you create that to a solid area? Polygon to mask and you need to give it four things. You need to give it the X coordinates, that's there, the Y coordinates and then the overall size of the image here. So you've done that. So in other words what you've done is the area bounded by the yellow is now a mask. You want to erode the mask. And how are we going to erode the mask? Well, <coughs> you need a structuring element. Now, you could use an inbuilt structuring element, but I created a 16 by 16 square. So I eroded the mask using I am erode. And then what I did was I got the region props of the eroded mask. I got the convex hull of the eroded mask. And now I'm going to draw the uh, convex hull of the eroded mask over the original one. So we just move down here a little bit. And I think we see what's going on. So the yellow is the original. What we did then was, using the yellow, we made a mask. We then eroded the mask. And then the red guy is the new convex hull. Okay. Did I say uh, the red guy? I'm not too sure what I said. The red guy is the new convex hull. So what we want to do then is get the gap between the two convex hulls. That's the eroded mask, by the way. So, so what we do then is, uh, what we've done then is, what we've said is, just to go back here, we have this, so if we just set the area inside the red line to zero, what we're left with then is the black out here, this will become black in here, and then we've got the whites running along here, and the whites running along here are the teeth. How do I, how do I set inside the red circle to zero? Well, just coming that up there. <coughs> Lost my mouse, there you are. So inside it, set it to zero. So I'm going to show then, just figure out we're here, label and count the teeth, so just go down a little bit. Uh, we'd be left with that. That's what we're left with. There are the white ones, so we want to count that we want to count sorry. We want to count that. Go back to here. So I am showed the teeth only. We BW label. Okay, so L and number. So number I L is the array of the uh, of the labeled ones of the la of the labeled teeth. Num is how many of them, and we got forty two. And then, as I mentioned in a previous command, this labels is not inbuilt. And I don't have the uh, function written, but if you go to Steve and MATLAB blog site, he wrote his own function called VisLabels. And so you can download VisLabels into your own working directory. You call VisLabels of the BW label matrix, and there they all are. Now, just in case you heard this for the first time, why is this one, and why is that two, and why is that three, etc. Well, what it does is, it goes along in this direction. It's the mouse is just there. So the first one it meets, the first white area it meets is one. The second white area it meets is two. The third one is three. Number four is four, etc. And then if I go over to this side, the last one it meets is this one over here, and that's number 42. Okay, so... Thanks very much for listening, and I hope this has been of help. It's quite, uh, it's simple when you know it after a while, but it, I think it's quite elegant. Thanks again.